Hello, everyone. West Point recently just found a random time capsule that no one knew about. No one could find any records of it. There was no indication of what could be in it. All anyone knew was that it was from the 1820s, which was just a couple decades after the Academy had been founded, back when it would have been barely recognizable as anything close to what we have for it today. The hype for this was insane. It was picked up by national news outlets everywhere. West Point Public Affairs had a heyday making hype posts for this and slick videos on it. A full conference style reveal was planned with VIPs, cameras everywhere, experts, historians. Everyone was there for the big reveal, and it was anyone's guess as to what was inside. Finally, after what felt like an eternal wait, they opened it in front of everyone, and with a look of confused disappointment, nothing but dust in the manufacturer's mark that no one really recognized. Of course, everyone gave their cordial thanks, gave small remarks about the history of the institution and on history in general, fade it to black, logo up, and everyone, including myself, went about their day. Now, a quick note, I wrote this back before they found the six little coins in the bottom, but let's be real, there's a box that big full of dust is not just gonna have uh, some pocket change in it. Common sense tells us that it was something additional at that point. Anyway, just ignore all that. Regardless, in this kind of context, historical societies typically call these kinds of situations of letdowns as huge bummers. While we didn't get our grand historical piece to put in our nice plexiglass display for all to see, I think what we did receive was maybe a humbling lesson on entropy, which broadly speaking in this context means the degradation of matter and energy in the universe to an ultimate state of inert uniformity. In short, entropy is the general trend of the universe towards death and disorder. Whatever it was that was put in that box, whether very carefully or haphazardly it seems, was done with intention. It was not done on accident. Someone put Put something in that box for us to find later. There was real, genuine, hard human intent behind this, and it all literally turned to dust. That intent is now just doomed to the realm of speculation, educated guests, and cadet rumor mills, obviously. And the likelihood of us actually getting it right is slim to none, in my opinion. That might come off as cynical a statement, but that's just the reality of everything, really. All matter, regardless of expectations or perceived historical importance, will ultimately degrade into an inert pile of dust and ashes, much like us and literally everything we've ever touched or done or attempted. We love to lament about joining things larger than ourselves, being part of legacies, leaving impacts on people's lives, looking into pond ripples and imagining we have a similar impact on the world, but much like the ripples in the pond, regardless of the size of the rock that I was able to find to impress my friends, it will all dissipate as if it was never there to begin with. Entropy, according to most scientific theories, will eventually lead to the heat death of the universe, all kinetic energy will become impossible, and nothing will ever happen ever again, literally forever. And there is, of course, a, a bright side to this. We are realistically just Free to do anything because in the end it will not matter we are all just bits of complicated chemistry and everything we are and do will eventually come to an end and be forgotten good and bad while we might lament of the idea that whatever was put in that box is now just a pile of particulates we might be ignoring the true possibilities of everything that's going on here when people think about nothing mattering in the end they typically only focus on the good things as opposed to the mistakes and the bad negative connotations that could have gone along with it. What if whoever made the box just really screwed the pooch? No one's talking about that. What if they just put the wrong stuff instead and they got lucky that it turned into ash? What if instead of important documents and memorabilia, it was a poorly written love letter to his roommate's sister. And then if they were here today to watch us read it, it would have been humiliating for them. Or what if it was just a scathing review of an instructor that they absolutely hated and wanted to throw it in there as spite. And then as they got older, would have regretted putting that in and hated the idea that eventually would be read and however many years by the future people that dug it up. Or even just a simple doodle that they took in class instead of taking notes and they accidentally switched it out with the box. Who knows? Entropy doesn't necessarily doom us to a future of anonymity that erases all of our accomplishments. It erases everything. And in doing so, opens us up to allow us to make all the mistakes we want. Risks gone bad, slip ups we might have made. All that will eventually be forgotten. Ultimately, who cares? Because at the end of the day, much like whatever was put in that time capsule, we will all just be dust in a box. Um, don't use this video as an excuse to pick up a gambling habit though.